Alabama has over 160 prisoners on death row. This is part 10 of the series. Derek Dearman, 5 years on death row. In the early hours of August 20, 2016, a male attacker broke into a home in the 1700 block of Jim Platt Road, west of Citronelle, at around 4 a.m. Five people who were asleep were slain by him, including two married couples and one that included a woman who was five months pregnant. Axes and firearms were among the many weapons that he used. He abducted Lanita Lester, his ex-girlfriend, along with the child of her brother and his wife, and brought them all to his father's home in Lakesville, Mississippi, which is about 30 miles to the west. He later let them go. Lester brought the child back to Citronelle, where she went to the police station and reported the murders. Derek Dearman turned himself in to the police after being persuaded to do so by his father. He is now 35 years old. Gregory Lance Henderson, 11 years on death row. He was sentenced to death for the murder of a police officer. In order to check for a switched tag violation, Anderson was attempting to stop Henderson off Lee Road 240 when Henderson started evading him. The deputy got out of his car and gave him a stop order, but Henderson hit the deputy with his Honda Civic. Anderson was crushed by Henderson after he floored the gas pedal, pinning the officer between the car and the ground where he was unable to breathe. Henderson is now 51 years old. Michael David Belcher, 4 years on death row. A court in Tuscaloosa County condemned Michael David Belcher to death by lethal injection for his part in the beating, torturing, and murder of Maplesville resident Samantha Pine, 29 years old, in 2015. In November 2015, Payne was subjected to beatings and torture by a bunch of pals who were high on meth. She had her throat cut after being tied to a tree in a secluded part of the Talladega National Forest. Belcher led the attack and performed the throat cutting on Pine. Later, the hunters found her body. Belcher is now 39 years old. Michael Anthony Powell, two years on death row. The jury's 11 to 1 recommendation that Michael Anthony Powell be executed for the execution style killing of 54 year old Tracy Letty Elgar at the Alabaster convenience store, where she was well-liked and well-known by her patrons, was upheld by Shelby County Circuit Judge Bill Bostick. Algar was fatally shot in the Kirkland Chevron's restroom, and according to the authorities, she was shot in the top of her skull while kneeling. In the robbery, about $260 were stolen. Powell is now 51 years old. Christopher Henderson, two years on death row. He was given the death penalty for murdering his wife, Kristen Smallwood Henderson, and their unborn baby, her mother, her other child, and even her nephew. At the time of the murders, Kristen Henderson was 35 years old, and she was nine months pregnant with her kid. Her mother, Jean Smallwood, was 67 years old, and her nephew, Eli Sokolowski, was one year old. Her son, Clayton Daniel Chambers, was just eight years old. Authorities came to find the bodies inside the burning home in New Market. Henderson is now 48 years old. Michael Dale Yervolino, two years on death row. In connection with the shooting death of 20-year-old Nicholas Sloan Harmon, Odenville resident Michael Dale Yervolino was accused with capital murder. The district attorney for St. Clair County was Harmon's father. A moody police officer discovered 20-year-old Nicholas Sloan Harmon's body inside a wrecked car in November 2019 when driving up to it at the Valero truck stop on Kelly Creek Road. As crew chief for the Alabama National Guard, Harmon, also known as Boo, was ready to receive his pilot's license. My name is Sloan Harmon. I'm a senior at Pelsey High School. I wrestle. Wrestling is a lot more than just a sport. You know, wrestling is one of those things that really, really lets you know where you are in life. It tests a lot of your mental and physical characteristics. You know, it, I've, I've made so many friends over the past couple of years doing so, and I don't know anybody closer to me than my team. Wrestling has got me through school as far as keeping my grades up and, and just keeping me healthy, and I don't know what I would do that. Yervolino is now 36 years old. Donnie Lee Abernathy, two years on death row. In November 2015, at a house in the Round Mountain community of Cherokee County, Donnie Lee Abernathy is accused of killing three women and injuring a man. Abernathy shot and killed the victims, kidnapped his ex-girlfriend, Jerrica Hamilton, against her will from the house, tried to avoid the police, and then crashed his Ford Mustang moments afterwards. 
Abernathy came into the house, killed all three victims, grabbed Hamilton, and then instructed her to phone 911 and let them know everything was fine. If she didn't, he would kill her and he would make sure that she would never see her child again, according to Hamilton's account to detectives. Abernathy is now 46 years old. Brandon Duane Sykes, one year on death row. A West Alabama man was found guilty by a jury of capital murder in the death of his ex-wife whose body has not been recovered since she was last seen eight years ago. According to District Attorney Andy Hamlin, Brandon Sykes was found guilty in 2022 of killing Keisha Sykes, 29 years old at the time, and the jury chose to sentence him to death. In February 2015, Sykes, a mother of three, vanished from her Vernon home. A few days later, her burned-out and abandoned car was discovered close to New Hope, Mississippi, but the woman's remains were never discovered. Detectives, however, did find her blood in the bed of Brandon Sykes' pickup truck as well as at her residence. He is now 42 years old. Jimmy O'Neill Spencer, four months on death row. Martha Del Reliford, 65 years old. Marie Kitchens Martin, 74 years old, and Colton Ryan Lee, just 7 years old, died in 2018 and Jimmy O'Neill Spencer was found guilty of seven charges of capital murder. The 74-year-old Guntersville grandmother and her 7-year-old great-grandson were allegedly killed by Spencer during a heist that netted just $13 in cash. In a recorded confession, Spencer admitted to killing Relliford for roughly $600 and then killing the child to get rid of a witness. The homeless criminal, who had eight convictions dating back to 1984, including assault, robbery, and escape, was a dangerous offender fresh out of prison at the time of the killings. He is now 58 years old. John Russell Calhoun, 23 years on death row. John Calhoun broke into L.P. and Tracy Phillips' Taladica house on May 8, 1998 and shot Tracy Phillips to death. L.P. testified that on the evening of May 8, her neighbor called to let her know that a man was peering through her windows. L.P. informed Tracy, her husband, who then went to inspect the exterior. Calhoun, who had a stocking mask covering his face, was pursuing Tracy inside the residence while brandishing a revolver. According to L.P., she recognized the man in the mask as Calhoun since he had visited their home that day and she had also seen him earlier that day while she was putting up signs for a yard sale she was hosting. L.P. claimed that she quickly fled upstairs to one of the bedrooms, slammed the door behind her and took cover there with her daughter and her friend. She claimed that a few seconds later, Tracy yelled from behind the door that Calhoun had a gun to his head and would shoot him if she did not open the door. She complied and Calhoun went into the bedroom. In addition to offering him cash and jewelry, Tracy begged for their lives. Calhoun refused and instructed L.P. to undress, lay on the bed and spread her legs. L.P. agreed. Calhoun squeezed Tracy's head between his wife's thighs, then pulled the trigger. Tracy's brainstem was severed as a result of a gunshot wound to the back of his head, according to the coroner's testimony. Calhoun pulled L.P. downstairs after shooting Tracy, where he essayed her and he also beat her. She claimed that when she fought Calhoun for the pistol and he lost his temper, he pointed the weapon at her and pulled the trigger, but nothing happened. After another essay, Calhoun ordered the woman to go upstairs and retrieve any cash she might have. She informed him that she did have jewelry in a downstairs bathroom, but refused to return upstairs since her husband's body was there. He received some jewelry from LP, dropped some of it, and then walked away. LP then dialed 911. Calhoun is now 55 years old. Robert Sean Ingram, 28 years on death row. Together with another two friends, Anthony Boyd and Marcel Ackles, he took revenge on Gregory Hugoli in 1993 by burning him to death for a debt related to drugs. Boyd and Ingram were sentenced to death. Marcel Ackles was sentenced to life without parole. Ingram is now 52 years old. Donald Dallas, 28 years on death row. After compelling a woman to withdraw money from several ATMs, Dallas put her into the trunk of a vehicle. He left the vehicle with the woman inside the trunk and she suffered a heart attack and passed away. He is now 59 years old. Patricia Blackman, 28 years on death row. Blackman was responsible for her adopted daughter's passing. 
Dominique Bryant had only just turned two. On May 29, 1999, Patricia Blackman dialed 911 to ask for the dispatch of paramedics to come to her trailer in Dothan. Patricia Blackman informed the operator that her child was not breathing. Dominiqua was found unresponsive and laying on the floor of Patricia Blackman's mobile home at about 9.30 p.m., Eddie Smith, a paramedic in Dothan, testified. She was only wearing a diaper and blood-soaked socks. She had a hematoma on her forehead and blood all over her chest. The paramedics attempted to revive her before transporting her to the emergency room at Flowers Hospital. Blackman is now 54 years old. Tierra Capri Gobble, 17 years on death row. Gobble was held responsible for her four-month-old baby, Phoenix Cody Parrish's death. On December 15, 2004, Phoenix was transported to the emergency room of the Southeast Alabama Medical Center in Dothan. He was not breathing and had no pulse. The autopsy found that Phoenix had suffered a traumatic head injury and that his skull had been cracked. Phoenix also had multiple bruises on his face, head, neck and chest, as well as shattered ribs, a broken right arm, fractures in both wrists, and the tear in the inside of his mouth that appeared to have been caused by a bottle being rammed into it. When his mother was unable to put him to sleep, she lost her cool, and then the baby passed away. She is now 40 years old. Christy Michelle Scott, 14 years on death row. According to court documents, Scott intentionally set her home on fire, killing her six-year-old autistic son. The fatal fire was actually started in her children's bedroom, according to the findings of the fire investigators. It's possible that Scott was attempting to file a claim with the insurance company. In the early hours of August 16, 2008, the Scott home caught fire and Mason died as a result. Dr. Emily Ward, a pathologist with the Alabama Department of Forensic Sciences, claims that Mason died from thermal burns and smoke in his airway. Mason was asleep alone in the children's bedroom, while Christy and her four-year-old son were asleep in the room of Jeremy Scott. He was the father of Mason. She is now 45 years old. Heather Leval Keaton, eight years on death row. In 2010, Leval Keaton was accused of killing her two stepchildren, Natalie de Blas, age four, and Chase de Blas, age three. Along with her partner, John de Blas, the children's father, she perpetrated these crimes. Natalie was strangled to death in March 2010 after being duct taped, placed in a suitcase, and kept in a closet for 12 hours. Afterwards, her body was dumped in a wild area not far from Citronelle. In June 2010, Chase was fastened to a broom handle and left in a bedroom corner overnight where he died from suffocation. His body was found in the woods close to Van Cleve, Mississippi. The reason why he died was because he simply asked about where his sister was. Keaton is now 35 years old. Tisa Carpenter Graham, 7 years on death row. Lisa Graham was held responsible for the murder of her daughter, Stephanie Shea Graham, who was 21 years old, by employing a family friend. The prosecution claims that Graham hated her daughter because she was a drug user, a stripper, and probably a sex worker who had dropped out of college. Graham believed that Shea and her husband were having an affair because they frequently took the same side in arguments, which was causing their marriage to fall. She is now 56 years old. With that, my friends, we reach the end of Alabama death row. See you next week with the stories of death row prisoners from another state. Please hit that subscribe button if you like my channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.